Hi, I'm Frank Cherbino with the Palm Beach Post, and we're here once again at the ADT Championship right here at the Trump International Golf Club in West Palm Beach. What a lot of people don't realize is that this club, this beautiful golf course here, is not just an isolated spot of opulence. It's really part of a cluster of, of golf right here in Palm Beach County. Just like the Scripps Institute is part of a biotech cluster, the Trump course is part of what I like to think of as a golf cluster. So I thought today what we do is, is maybe go around and visit some of the places out in the area and just take a look to see all the kind of great businesses that have kind of formed up right here around this beautiful golf course. Why don't you come on with me? I'm standing here outside the uh, the Palm Beach County. What is this actually? What is this building here? What is it? This is the main detention center. The detention center. Is this actually part of the golf course? No, it's not. So it's like if the golfers do something bad, they don't come here. If the golfers do something bad, they will come here. I'm sitting here with uh, Tommy Richards. Tommy, uh, what is your line of work? I'm a bail bondsman. A bail bondsman. Now, how would a bail bondsman uh, uh, do uh, as far as this LPGA tournament? Is this like a, a good business opportunity for you? Well, if, uh, if any of the players were to be arrested or anything, I'm close by. And that's, that's kind of a good thing. I know like most golfers, they're like rappers, actually. One level above that are golfers, right? Yeah, that's right. I think a couple of years ago they had a uh, incident over there with a swan. That's right. There was a golf. There was a guy who beat a swan right, to death. Right, right. Yeah, we Did like to stay close to the golf course, you know. I'm here with Vince from Vince's Deli and Subs right here on Congress, and you have the best sub place next to the golf course, right? I believe I do. Yes. Yes. And what is your signature sub? What is your 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 big Big seller. Uh, most popular sub is the uh, Italian combination. I'm standing here at the library. There's a library branch right here on Summer Boulevard. By the way, Vince's Italian sub is terrific. Uh, I'm checking out these books I have on golf. This one's a woman's guide to golf, and it's a great book. I'm sitting here with one of the local businessmen here in the shadow of the Trump International Golf Club, Gary Odell. Uh, Gary, how would you describe your business? Uh, it's an adult entertainment club. And uh, do you consider yourself part of the golf course community? Uh, since Donald is here across the street, uh, yes. I noticed you had a sign out front that was welcoming. Uh, that was a welcoming sign for the people here at the LPGA. Is there a lot of overlap between exotic dancing and, and women's golf? Well, they're all involved with uh, women and uh, women making uh, money, so there's there's an overlap there. And they're both kind of athletic in a way. Yes, very athletic, very athletic. How would you? What do you think is harder? Assume, by the way, Vince's Deli down the street. Delicious. Delicious. Really yes, good. I got very to try it. Very. Have you had it? Yeah. Hey, it's, it's great. It's good. I'm here with Michelle over here at T's Lounge, and Michelle, I, I know uh, a lot of people are paying attention to a lot of the women golfers this week, and I was wondering, as, as, as a woman yourself in the entertainment business, as golf is kind of an entertaining sport, how would you compare yourself to a golfer, to a women's golfer? I think this is more athletic than riding around in the golf cart all day. They have to walk, though. They do have to walk. But but I see what you mean. I mean, they basically walk and they hit the ball and everything. And, and, and you would work up a sweat here, I imagine. Absolutely. 